Right, in the mail just came the Future Bit Apollo Miner. This is batch one. Uh, it was one of the first ones to get it, so this is how it arrived. Came from California. I'm over in New Jersey. Took about a week to get here. So it looks like it was packed up pretty good. Haven't even opened it yet. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up, see what's inside. Alright, when we first open this up, looks like we got some nice pink bubble tape. Got this wrapped up real nice. Go ahead and pick this guy up. Put her down. Got our packing slip inside. Pre-order Apollo Litecoin Pod ASIC. Yep, that's the Apollo Miner. Very nice. Lots of bubble wrap inside there. Always a good sign. Go ahead and take this bubble wrap off here. Oh, look how nice that is. They have it wrapped up like a little present. Just in time for Christmas, as you can imagine. Let's go ahead and get that off. Feel the goods inside. Alright, so we make it past that part. And then we have the Apollo Miner here, wrapped up very nicely in anti-static wrapping. Let's go ahead and pop it out of there. There she is, in her glory. It's the future bit. Apollo Miner comes in a nice shiny plastic case. Looks like it has some data lights on the front. It's uh, cut out there, it says the word future bit. Nice big future bit branded brushless fan on the top. We have on the bottom, looks like that's open, but on the bottom, we have some more heat sinks, and it looks like we have the spot where the SD card can go. This would be a micro SD card slot. Very cool. It says it's a Pi Zero, so that's important to know. It's a Raspberry Pi Zero. And then we have, looks like a USB port, a NIC port, and the two ATX 12 volt power ports. So it looks pretty cool. Very small, pretty lightweight compared to like an A4 Dominator or uh, uh, the L3. I mean, it's, it's much smaller. So, uh, there you go. It's the Future Bit Apollo Miner, Litecoin Miner. It's an ASIC, and that's what comes inside that box.